Hi, it's uh, Jeff Pulver, and uh, welcome to Jeff's Place. And I'd like to thank all of you for tuning in and joining us from all over the world. I already can see that we have artists. Uh, we have artists today joining us from the UK, from Ireland, and from uh, from Canada. And uh, we have uh, friends, f literally from the west coast of the U.S., spanning uh, all across uh, and through Europe. And uh, thank you for sharing time with us. If this is your first time joining Jeff's Place, just imagine that you walked into a coffee house. But a very special one because uh, in front of you is a uh, as a stage, uh, as an audience member, and uh, you're sitting in what I would consider a, uh, um, a, a mostly comfortable but magical wooden chair, because everybody who sits down can actually has a front row seat. And for the artists, they have a stage, a small stage, where they're bringing their instrument, their microphone, behind them maybe a small mixer. But it's, this is a very intimate uh, experience. Uh, hosting Jeff's Place, I'll share with you that uh, what I really like is the emotional... Um, energy that just there's an emotional intimacy that's here uh that's shared by the artists and that's shared by the the guests and so uh welcome and uh the, the chat is open if you like to uh share something positive by all means go into the chat we will be sharing the social media links for our artists during the show uh we encourage you to follow them and if you can please be generous with tips uh tips uh tip drawers are here for uh really to help encourage people to extend uh, what they do in the arts and uh, we so really do appreciate your support um, here at uh, jeff's place our three main sponsors are the color purple as if you can't notice the number 18 which for us brings life and the letters l-o-v-e which always outbid wtf especially in 2020 and 2021 so uh brought to you by some love and uh I'd like to uh, bring to the stage our first artist uh kelly uh who's joining us uh, from montreal and uh, welcome. And could you share a little bit about your background and, and your influences, Kelly? Sure. So um, I've been like involved with music my whole life. Um, my dad is a jazz musician, so I grew up with a lot of jazz. Um, I went to music school. I played a lot of classical music there. Um, but I've always been super interested in like folk music and pop music. Um, some of my biggest influences are Joni Mitchell, Phoebe Bridgers, um, Japanese breakfast. Yeah. Wonderful. And uh, what are you going to be uh, sharing today? Um, I'm going to play four songs, two of my own and two covers. I'm a bit nervous because I didn't actually get a chance to play a lot of my songs in person, um, like before the pandemic happened. So this is like one of the first times I'm ever playing them in front of people. So it's a bit nerve wracking. But, well, yeah. relax. We have your back. Take your breath. <laughs> uh, and when you when you share your originals, if you could share a little bit of, about the backstory, so we could appreciate uh, what you're singing about. So, uh, sure. But Kelly, the stage is yours. Welcome to Just Place. I'm glad to be here. Um, okay, so this first song is one that I wrote a couple years ago, and I wrote it when I was feeling really burnt out by school and my job and everything. So I guess it's just about being really tired. Um, and it actually comes out tomorrow on like all streaming platforms. So I'm super excited about that. It's the first song I've ever released. Um, all right. It's called Watercolor. Thank you. 
Wash away like watercolor. Wash away like watercolor. Wash away like watercolor. Wash away like watercolor. Beautiful lyrics. That was Thank wonderful. You. That was Thank really you so nice. Much. All right. A uh, shout like out, by the way, for those in the audience, if you have a camera, please put it on so Kelly and all the artists can actually see the audience that they're playing to. Uh, we would appreciate uh, the cameras being on so uh, the artists can see you. All right. Should I play my next song? Please. Okay. Um, I wanted to choose a cover that was a little bit happier than the songs I usually write because they're usually pretty sad. So um, <laughs> uh, it's not an upbeat song, but it is a happy song. It's uh, something I'm sure all of you know. It's Harvest Moon by Neil Young. Beautiful Harvest Moon. Thank you. That's Thank beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm going to play another original. Um, I wrote this one when I was 15. And 15? I remember... 15? Yeah. So like four years ago. 
<laughs> and uh, I remember when I wrote it, I was sort of like trying to imitate nostalgia, like everything I'd seen in movies and other songs and stuff. Um, and it didn't necessarily mean anything to me, like on a personal level. I was just sort of trying to imitate what I had heard other people say. Um, but over like the past four years, it's actually grown on me a lot and I can relate to it now more than I did when I wrote it. Um, so yeah, this song means a lot to me. Um, it's called Elmer Avenue. Quite beautiful. Wow. Thank you. So, so what, what's the, the Elmer Avenue reference? Uh, where does that come from? Um, it's not an actual avenue. I think it's just, it was the name of my grandpa's brother who had died like a bit before I wrote the song. Oh, wow. And I was thinking about him a lot. And so, yeah, I used his name in the title. So, wow, yeah. That's a beautiful song. I, your songwriting at 15 is, wow. <laughs> Thank you. It's the only good song I wrote at that age, honestly. I doubt that. I'm sure when you when you look back in your notes, you will find other songs. You know, sometimes it's like you time travel, mm -hmm. that you are able to channel your future and your present, right? And then you look True. at the words a few years later, and the reflections are so magical and had take on so much more deeper meaning later in time than even at the time that you're writing them down. Yeah, it's true. I've heard a lot of people talk about that. It's crazy how much it happens. Okay, wow. I have one last song. It's another cover. Um, it's a song that I just really like, <laughs> so I thought I'd play it. By all um, means. It's called Say Yes by Elliot Smith. Love with the world through the eyes of a girl who's still around. Changed around and 
was great thank you give it on up uh, for kelly come on guys that was absolutely wonderful turn on those cameras don't be shy wow kelly that was great uh i wish you much success with the release of your new song tomorrow and uh look thank forward you. to having you back here at jeff's place in the future i look forward to it too that was thank wonderful you. thank you so much thank you all right Bye. um we're gonna head over to ireland our next three artists actually are all from ireland uh today so uh Say uh, good afternoon to Aoife, and uh, how, how are you doing today? Hi, I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing well. Could you uh, do a proper introduction of yourself uh, and share uh, a little bit about your influences, please? Sure. Um, so my name is Aoife Mulligan. Um, the name Aoife actually came from, I, I worked in America for a little bit, um, and no one could say my name if I spelled it the way it's supposed to be spelled. So. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> um, so um, I studied music in college um, in St. Pat's in Drumcondra. Um, I did music and English um, as a joint honours degree. Um, I also taught music, um, traditional Irish music. So uh, Shanos, I don't know if anyone has heard of that, but um, I did a lot of that and I kind of slowly kind of got away from that and I've been writing my own music for years but it was actually the pandemic that pushed me to record it so I've been recording since August last year uh, or no it was actually sooner I released my first single in August last year and it, it was all home recording um, at actually here my friend Owen uh, he doesn't want to <laughs> come on the camera, but uh, we both did it here um, and I haven't looked back. So I've just been recording and recording since. And uh, so what? how would you characterize your music style? Um, I, I don't know, <laughs> to be honest. It's a it's a mix. It's um my influence is i i love blues music and i love soul so i amy winehouse would be one of my favorite and etta james aretha franklin sure. so um you don't hear that too much in my there's one song in particular the last song that i'm gonna sing that is the closest to blues um that i've written but um i kind of i'll explain it as i go along <laughs> it's hard to kind of yeah <laughs> well if e the stage is yours welcome to jeff's place okay thank you so um <laughs> the this first song is called hard love and it was the first song that i released um now when i released it uh, it's totally different um it's it's produced you know there's a lot of production on the what i've released on spotify uh, but when i wrote it originally it's actually how I'm going to play it today, which is on the kind of bluesier, soulier side. So um, if you listen to it on Spotify, it's not that it's pop. It's like totally different. So um, this is how I originally wrote it. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Forgive me for being so sensitive, eh? I wear my heart on my sleeve. Uh. Some people are hard lovers, and some people can't even feel. It's not an option to choose, but why do I love the wrong lovers? It's a habit of mine. Oh, I love the need time to recover. Hey, cause I put my heart on the line. I know I am the one who's to blame. Some reason you choose someone over me instead. But why do I love the wrong lovers? It's a habit of mine. I love the need time to recover. Hey, cause I put my heart on the That was great. The writing, the lyrics, the voice. Wow. I, I really like this version. I, I will listen to you on Spotify too, but this was, that was terrific. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I guess like when I, when I wrote it, that was how I wrote it. And then I sent my friend Lewis um, the raw version and he sent it back into this like R&B pop hit, which originally when I heard it, I was kind of like, oh, I don't know, but <laughs> it was re I was really happy with how it turned out um, in the end. Well, you may have two versions of the song to popularize. This bluesy, yeah. that, was, that was soulful, it was bluesy, it was wonderful. I mean, and your voice just makes it happen. <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay, so this next one is called Anadonia. Um, again, I have that one released as well on Spotify and there's a lot of production and everything on that. So if you want to check it out, um, it's cool. I also have a music video for it if anyone wants to check it out. Solid stone 
Stumbling on in love of this broken path Trying to forget but can't help looking back Head on your shoulders but don't feel attached Time to step off of the beaten track Cause it feels like home when you're alone Cause your past has turned your bleeding heart to solid stone And nothing really matters cause what's gone is gone Cause when the night surrenders there comes the dark Cause in the end you can't pretend Cause the truth prevails Cause love is not what they betray in fairy tales Cause it feels like home when you're alone Cause the past has turned a bleeding heart to solid stone and nothing really matters cause what's gone is gone cause when the night surrenders there comes a dawn cause when the night surrenders there comes a dawn Um, put on those cameras, give us some applause. My goodness, that was angelic, I think is the best way to explain it. That was absolutely beautiful, uh, very soulful. I, again, you, you sound great, by the way, I have to say. Thank you. <laughs> it just, just, I feel like we're in a concert and it's really nice. And uh, I mean, the, it's sounding wonderful here in New York, I'd say that much, it's just beautiful voice. Thank you. Um, so I'm gonna sing another original. Um, I wrote this one uh, only a few months ago and I'm in the process of recording it right now. Um, I'm hoping to release it in the summer. Uh, again, it's very different <laughs> um, to the way I'm going to play it now. Uh, I'm actually really excited about this one because it's kind of a dance. Um, it's a dance tune um, like the pro the produced one. And, and it's actually the first um, song that I like produced mostly like Owen Owen here has obviously helped a lot um but I've mo mostly produced it myself so I'm really excited to release this one um but I'm going to sing a different version of it again today <laughs> this is called trust <laughs> How can I trust what you say when you told me every day that it's me you want and no one else but behind the scenes you couldn't help yourself How do you expect me to forget when what you did is in my mindset And I tried to let it go but your love don't feel real anymore Lies and tears and false promises is what I get even with all your flawlessness Oh, I'm standing back I see how your love blinded me So from your spell, release me How do you expect me to forget when I was up all night upset? You were out with someone new while I was 
was crying over you And when do you think it'll be okay Cause I think about it every day And my mind can't seem to shake That thing that you call a mistake Lies and tears and false promises Is what I got even with all your flawlessness Oh, I standing back I see So from your spell, release me And the conversations went nowhere And you kept hearing what you want to hear And standing back, it's clear And I tried to make it work But you put yourself first And baby Give it up. Wow. Uh, trust here alive at Jeff's place. Uh, Aoife is, <laughs> my goodness, this is wonderful music you're sharing. I, uh, I look forward to the produced versions, but the raw, the raw version of what you're doing sounds so wonderful. And uh, it feels so good to, to hear your voice uh, share this, uh, these lyrics and the music is wonderful. Thank you. Um, so Owen's actually going to play for my last song. This is the bluesy one. Um, do we get to actually see Owen or he's still going to be off camera? Owen, do you? <laughs> Hi. Hello there. Hello there. <laughs> um, so Owen actually wrote the guitar part for this. So I felt he obviously had to play it. Um, so I this is actually a poem that I wrote. Um, I only wrote this two weeks ago. So this is the first time anyone's heard it. Um, and we're recording it as well at the minute. I don't know when um, I'm going to release it yet. But this is a bluesy one. And it's one that I have been um, really excited. I've been really excited to write something like this. So um, it's called, well, actually, the title is a working uh, it's a working title. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to call it. <laughs> what's yeah, what's the working wanna... title? Uh, well, so I have two names. I'm either going to By the way, it... you can ask the audience here to suggest a name. You have uh, 50 or so people who could ha might have an opinion in case you want yeah. to. Yeah. Well, actually, I won't say anything then. And if people want to like suggest a name before I like say my suggestion. Go ahead. So guys, be... while you're listening, go into the chat and please uh, uh, suggest a title. Uh, I, I like that, Aoife. <laughs> Why not? We'll, we'll uh, name that tune song. our way. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Uh, so. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. 
thank you. My and goodness. thanks, Owen. <laughs> Give it on up. Wow, that was absolutely great. So, so in the chat, I saw, uh, besides the wows, uh, because of you, uh, at all time, the flame, like it used to. And uh, anyone else have suggestions for, uh, for, for, for a song title? I was actually going to call it something the blues. I mean, it's, uh, you, you are singing. So, you know, you, you're, you're right there in the moment, right? Singing your heart, sharing your heart, sharing uh, the energy, and it's beautiful. Thank uh, you. Really. Uh, wow. Um, so uh, please, uh, Aoife, thank you for joining us today. Uh, I hope you thank come you back. Uh, please put on, your, put on those cameras. Give a round of applause to Aoife. Really, uh, it was absolutely wonderful to have you today. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for having me. And to me. the very shy Owen, thank you for accompanying uh, Aoife. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Absolutely terrific. Thank you so much. And uh, so, Thank you. Uh, but there's a lot of love in the chat. You see, when you can scroll in, you'll see. It's just, uh, but thank you for being here and thanks for being part of today. It's wonderful to have you. Thank um, you. Staying in Ireland and uh, heading over to another spot. We're going to go over to uh, Sinead and say uh, good evening to you. And uh, Hello. How, how are you are doing we today? Doing? We're good, good. Right. Um, I got an invitation there to unmute, and I was like, maybe I should stay mute just in case. <laughs> <laughs> no, no one no. wants to hear me. <laughs> we want to hear you. So could you tell us a little bit about yourself and your influences, please? Um, okay, well, my name is Sinead, and I go by Sinead Anne, because my middle name is Anne, like my gran. So I decided to take her name onto my stage name, because I just love her so much. And um, yeah, I just... I don't know. I love music. I've been playing music for a very long time. It's always something that, you know, was around my house growing up. My granddad was a musician and my mom was a musician. So from there on, I decided to go to music college and I studied music. <laughs> and yeah, I specified in songwriting in particular. And I kind of, um, I really like traditional music, especially, you know, like Irish traditional music. So I wanted to incorporate that in my songwriting. So it's very like heavily folk Irish kind of influenced. Um, yeah, and I hope that you like it and I can bring you a bit of Ireland to wherever you're watching from. Thank you. Well, the stage is yours. Uh, thank you for being with us today. Delighted to be here. Um, I'm so nervous. It's so strange to have, you know, people watching you but not really, they're not really in the same room with you, but it's, it's wonderful. It's really nice we are, to be we able are to do something like we, this. I, I promise you energetically, we're definitely connecting with the, with the voice and with, and with the music for sure. Oh, definitely. I can feel it like from here and the others play. I, I just enjoyed it so much. Like, so I actually feel like I'm at a gig. It's wonderful. Um, I'll fire into my first song. So, and this is a song I wrote around this time last year. And it was kind of when all this, coronavirus is getting very serious in Ireland and you know it was very bewildering to be in that situation and I was kind of um I was writing a research project at the time and I kind of decided to base it off people's dreams and how you know being cooped up inside has influenced you know their subconscious thinking in their sleep because for me like my dreams were going wild and yeah so this song is about the dreams I was having I jump by with the right gay goosebumps. Don't I am terrified? Of me, my shadow and my mind. Me, my four walls and I. We like to stay up at the night to wake up with cracks on my skin from the nail ticking in. Oh, I like to stay up at the night to know that I won't let you in for the specter of your sin.
Bless me for the pride I have seen. Dreamt I killed a man who lay hard on my skin. Don't I am terrified of him? Me, my four walls and I. We like to stay up. Like to wake up with cracks on my skin from the nail picking and oh I like to stay up at the night to know that I won't let you in for the specter of your sins like to stay up at the night to wake up with cracks on my skin saying I can't let you in no I like to stay up at the night to know that the night to know that We like to stay up at the night to wake up with cracks on my skin. Then I won't let you in. No, I like to stay up at the night to know that. The night to know that. Don't I quiver, I get goosebumps. Uh, thank you. Um, uh, Sinead, just once, the, uh, for some reason, when you were performing, uh, the sound check was yeah. fine, but you were dropping out. It looked like a, some, your, your guitar was dropping out at some point. So. A little bit. I think okay. you just need to get a little closer to the mic, Sinead. Yeah. Uh, we're losing a no guitar problem. a little bit. So if so you could it, yeah. the Both voice was fine, but the drop it was just a little yeah. bit of dropout. So I just wanted to. But it sounds okay, beautiful. perfect. Sounds beautiful. Thanks for letting me know. You're welcome. Just if you get a little closer to that mic, I think that'll help that out. Yeah, perfect. Thank, Thank you. you. So what was the name of that song? I I didn't write. Didn't um, know. I called it Four Walls. Four Walls. Ah, okay, got it. Yeah, because it just reminded me of being stuck in my yes, bedroom. Absolutely, <laughs> I understand. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you. Um, I'll fire into my next song. So. Uh, this song is a song I wrote about, I think, two years ago now. And um, I was just kind of struggling getting to know people. I kind of really grew into myself after um, a really hard breakup. So then I went on a trip with my friends and we actually met like, you know, group of lads, that kind of thing, started chatting, having a great time. And one of the guys took a fancy to me, um, but I wasn't having any of it. Like, I just wasn't. You know it wasn't working for me at all he was very nice and i think it was just because of my lack of confidence and my experience with love previously that kind of put me off that situation so he basically asked me to to kiss him uh, and i said no so <laughs> this is the song um it's called ocean's gray hue and it's about being in the coast side of donegal and you know wondering what if <laughs> No, I won't be taking you home tonight. No, I won't be taking flight with a thousand butterflies. And I won't hide the lakes of the ocean's gray with you. And I pay your blues in the wind like a sail I never do. 
to kiss you. To kiss you. No, I won't be taking you home to. in my head and you're so polite you ask good ideas you ask good ideas I feel life and Taking you home to night. Right. I have notions in my head, and you're so polite. You ask, Could I kiss you? Say, I'm too afraid to. Ah, very nice. Uh, wonderful story. So uh, do, do you think he'll ever find out that he influenced you to write the song about that moment? I think he knows. He knows. Oh. Yeah, I think he knows. And that's the worst part about the song, I think, is that he, the person knows it's about him. And well, an I felt really bad though, no? for, you know, because it wasn't his fault. You know, he didn't do anything wrong. Right. And... Like that chemistry was there, but I think it was just not meant to happen, and I'm glad it didn't happen in the end. But it helped you create a song, which is beautiful. Yeah, definitely, because I was kind of having like writer's block at the time as well, so it helped me get out of that. And it was the first song in a long time that I actually really enjoyed writing and kind of vibing to. You know, it's kind of one of those songs that you just listen to while you stare at the window of your car and pretend you're in a music video. <laughs> of course. <laughs> That was nice. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think what song I'll do next now. Um, I'll do something more upbeat because I am a very sad writer. I think writing for me is just an outlet to kind of describe how I'm feeling and to just put words to the thoughts that I feel most of the time because I find it very hard to express myself in any other way. Even talking to people, like if I feel anything at all, it's very hard for me to explain that. Um, yeah, so this song, uh, I wrote this one, I think last year. And again, it's about failing to find love. <laughs> but uh, this time it's more of a, um, I don't know, it's kind of calling someone out for their behavior because I found that a lot of times when I'm, you know, playing music or busking even, I get a lot of inappropriate comments from people you know sure. so this this lad i don't know so it's about him <laughs> it's called lemon dust Thank you. 
me go gentle, call me sweet. No bitter than lemon says I so you're lying to your teeth. Mother always taught me don't die a man's food. More bitter than lemon says and I love be sweet up by you. The moth that grows from the dumpness of my tears, the clock between my teeth. I cannot see the reach, and as long as it stands, you remain here. Oh, I remain here. Do, do. There you go. At least you, you at least put it out there. I like that. It was uh, well said. <laughs> you know, a, yeah, a I really enjoyed of, writing that song as well. <laughs> you'd be, you know, after hosting the show for so long, I will tell you, people do write a lot of sad songs. It's very hard to find happy songs. People that just, it's, maybe it's hard to, to write happy. I don't know, but it's, uh, but the, but it's nice to actually speak your truth and use it as a way to convey a message to someone or someone. So that's wonderful. Yeah, definitely. I think in the future, I'd like to write more like upbeat and happy songs. Like I like, I don't know, because I, I love dancing myself and I think I'm a, a rather happy person. But um, yeah, when it comes to writing, I think it's just the easiest way for me to express how I feel. It might um, be, writing could be a very wonderful channel for you to say things that you can't say face to face, but it sort of breaks yeah. through that wall where at least if you write it and you sing about it, you're expressing yourself in ways that you just exactly. can't do otherwise. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, and that's what I, I try to do. I try to stay very true to myself and I always think that I'm a very personal songwriter, you know, oh, but you I'm, I'm getting better at like writing songs about other situations that well, impact. For you what know. you're sharing, I can I say that you are a personal songwriter that, and, you are, and you don't hold punches. It's nice. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think this is my last song now. Yes, yes. So, yeah. Um, okay, I'll do one that I wrote recently, and I wrote it about not feeling the greatest. Um, and I didn't really realize that I, I was struggling with this issue when I wrote this song, so I actually didn't know what it was about. And it kind of became clear to me after listening to it a couple of times, I was like, oh, it really clicked with me. I was like, this is about a problem I've been struggling with for a long time. And I'm actually facing it now. So yeah, it was a bit of a revelation for me. <laughs> um, it doesn't really have a name yet, but I was gonna call it false, but I think I want to have a different name for it. So any suggestions would be great. Yeah, any suggestions <laughs> in the comments? Uh, if you're listening, please feel free to suggest a name for this song. Wonderful. We'll, we'll see what we And thank you so much for having me here. It's been great. And thank you so much everyone for listening. Thank you for being here. Thanks for sharing your voice and, and your music with all of us. That's beautiful. So the song without a name yet. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 
शिवाय Give it on up. Wow. Um, that was nice. And you could turn on those cameras. Don't be shy. Give a little, share some love uh, uh, um, with us, Sinead. Uh, so we had one person suggested two different titles, uh, The Great Divine and Take My Hand. And while oh, you were lovely. thinking, I, I was thinking, uh, my, my uh, yeah, Take My Hand. Uh, of course, uh, I wrote down as a suggestion, it's not me, it's you. Uh, that's a great one. I was thinking about something like that as well because it's so easy to push the. Thing no, it's on very easy out. to push that fault, yeah. right? But it's but I'm saying it's not me, it's you. And uh, mm. but but yes, the great take my hand. I like to. Um, yeah, great. Thank you so much for the suggestion. Well, thank you for being here. Thanks for being a guest at Jeff's Place. We look forward to having you join us again. And uh, really, please remember if you're you're here today, please be generous with the tips. Uh, both for Sinead and for everyone else. And uh, really it's just wonderful to have you. And uh, I, um, I'm actually uh, really thrilled to have all of you today as our, as our guests. Um, like to keep this in Ireland and uh, we're going over to, uh, uh, to another artist, uh, going over to uh, Keenan um, and uh, say good, e good evening to you. How, how are you doing? Hello, hello, that's the story. How are you escaping? Welcome. So, uh, so what part of Ireland are you in? 
Well, I'm from beautiful Dublin. Dublin. The beautifulest county in Ireland. Ah, uh, well, I don't know. I, 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 I can Galway, see faces I, I going have... up already going. No, I, I think uh, people, uh, Galway will be uh, misrepresented if uh, we, we can't just say Dublin is the only county. That's good. Uh, we have three counties represented tonight. It's all good. <laughs> I'm causing problems now. I'm trying to stir <laughs> the pot. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, hey, yeah. Uh, so, so could you share a little bit about yourself and uh, some of your influences? Of course, yeah. Um, so I'm 22 years old, and I, in in my household, um, there's not many musicians, but there's always there's, all my family are like big music lovers, and I was raised on traditional Irish folk music and kind of ska and reggae music. So I was kind of shown all kind of all different sorts of genres and it kind of gave me this love of music and um i started kind of wrote, writing folk stuff uh big influences of mine would be the likes of kind of towns van zandt and uh benjamin todd and bob dylan and uh, i kind of mix in a lot of the dubliners and the furies and like typical irish folk with my love of um americana folk and um yeah dwindling my little bit of a uh, kind of um common dublin accent in there as well so that's a little uh witch's cauldron of uh influences there for you is, um Wonderful. yeah i've been playing for a few years now probably about um i was on and off with music throughout my whole life my family really pushed me into and they really wanted me they really loved music you know but um really i picked up the guitar properly about six or seven years ago and I haven't stopped since wonderful and uh what, what are you going to be sharing tonight i'm going to be sharing um i'm going to be doing two new stuff two new tunes one really old tune that me dad suggested and it's kind of funny that sinead is here because it's actually the reason why i met sinead at the irish Youth music awards and then i'm going to do a cover for you so um hopefully you enjoy it ourselves great well thank you the stage is yours this first song is called loving woman and it's about kind of a one-way relationship where you're kind of connecting with someone but one side kind of pushes it and moves it too quickly and you kind of have to pull back and walk away and but you don't mean it you know it's no one's at fault but um it goes like this Loving woman, don't you cry on me. Cause I don't feel like being company. Cause when the sun sets and the stars will rise, I'll be on the road by morning light. When the tears they fall, they sink me low. Some fall peacefully and some they don't. But all in all, I still say cheerio. It's time to go. It's time to go. Loving woman, don't you cry. I don't feel like being company Cause when the sun sets and the stars will rise I'll be on the road by morning light Get to talking and you may think so But words can hide the truth, I'm sure you know Well, close your eyes and soon 
you'll see that I'll be gone and you won't think on me. So loving woman, don't you cry on me. I don't feel like being company. Cause when the sun sets and the stars will rise, I'll be on the road by morning. Offer your hand, but I must decline. Cause your love be wasted in these hands of mine. Cause you got streets of silver and skies of gold. And I got nothing to give. And I'm a world away from home. So loving woman, don't you cry over me. I don't feel like being company it's When the sun sets and the stars will rise I'll be on the road by morning light Wow, that was great. And Thanks I, a million. Thank that, you so much. Just, and I love the harmonica. Why not? That was absolutely beautiful touch. Wow. Good Cheers, story, too. Wow. <laughs> I do enjoy the, um, the harmonica. I, I, I bought it originally. Um, so, uh, as I said, with my influences, a lot, one of my first major influences was Bob Dylan. Because I just have an I have an obsession with the fact that you can tell such an impactful story with music. Do you know what oh, I mean? I, I, really, I, I have an obsessive cousin that's seen Dylan seriously over a hundred times. Uh, and his brother's incredible. seen him about eighty times. So yeah, I seen him once. Um, he was with uh, Neil Young and Glenn Hansard. In oh wow, what a concert! Kenny, yeah, it was phenomenal. It was such a great show. But I just. You know, I, I even in school I loved English and like storytelling and stuff. And um, but I was like, I liked a lot of rap music and stuff. And then I kind of heard of this thing called folk, and was like, oh, what's that? And then I said, I was like, oh, they tell stories with music. Oh, that sounds bleeding great. Oh, I might as well try that. So um, that's so, where so that by, all by came. Glenn, Glenn has committed to joining us one of these weeks. Just saying. Get Glenn in. Get Glenn in. The guy. I, I, I he's. I, 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 he will be with us probably by the summer. So he's a phenomenal, phenomenal writer, as you know. But he, the guy has a lot of stories as well. Do you know what I mean? So I think I like just listen to his, when he does his live streams on Instagram and the likes. He always just tells these yes. stories, and I think I, I go on just to listen to the stories. Like he has some amazing, insightful, really yes. fun musicians alike. <clears throat> but yeah, I uh, won't keep talking to years off. I have been informed before. That I do do a lot of talking. So, <laughs> it's all good. Um, the next song I'm going to do is called uh, Till, Mo uh, Till Morning Comes. Uh, I have a good mate from Arkansas. His name's Isaac. And he's a great musician. And he wrote a song about this girl that he met. He was over in Afghanistan. And it's over there on like, um, like military service. And he met this girl over there. And he just didn't walk out. But he thinks about her every day of his life and he, the, the song's called this ain't love but he, um there's a great line in it that says this ain't love but it can be someday and i just took that to a different area and was like <clears throat> the idea that when when we're broken emotionally or mentally uh people can help you you know your loved ones can help you but if you can't 
the healing starts within. You can't have someone else fix you. Do you know, they can help, but you have to fix yourself. And this song is about two people that are broken and they heal each other. They help each other, but in return, they heal themselves. And um, I hope you enjoy. Let me go explore your chambers. Let me see what you had in your heart. Let me smile for the broken. Let me love all the things that you are. Cause I'm coming up the road and I carry a heavy load. Tucked deep inside of my heart. From all the nights that were too long and all the sins that we have done. Please just hold me in your arms till the morning comes. Please just hold me in your arms till the morning comes. Well, my good friend often told me this ain't love, but it can be someday. So I will keep all you have shown me and let it guide me till my final dying days. Cause I'm coming up the road and I carry a heavy load tucked deep inside of my heart from all the nights that were too long and all the sins that we have done. Please just hold me in your arms till the morning comes. Please just hold me in your arms till the morning comes. When I'm alone, I will call you through the deepest channels of my heart and i will hear your beating and i will feel all your love and your warmth because i'm coming up the road and i carry a heavy load tucked deep inside of my heart from all the nights that were too long all the sins that we have done please hold me in your arms till the morning come please just hold me in your arms till the morning comes oh when nothing can be done all the drink we had has been drunk and all the drugs we had are now long gone in the dark i'll pray for the day when we call each other's names and you'll hold me in your arms till the morning comes please just hold me in your arms till the morning comes Thank you. I never know how to end that song, but um, <laughs> that was great. I was, I loved it. The lyrics, the story, it's just beautiful. Um, that was fun. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're too kind. I'll tell you that much, Jeff. That was great. And these are all too kind. Thank you. No, we're not. We're telling you the truth. It is a good song. It's a beautiful story, and thank you for sharing it, and thank you for encouraging others to, to be there. It's just beautiful, and it's like uh. The, 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 you, you, listening to the words, you get, it's very easy to imagine the story that's being shared. So it just hits real hard in a beautiful way. So thank you. Thank you so much. I think that touches on like something that Sinead said about, you know, <clears throat> writing personalized songs and wanting to write something that others connect to. And I think for me, I, I, I've heard the more personalized it is, I think 
the e like the more connecting it is for others oh man like I... oh absolutely because when you write in general out when you write about general things it's very hard for some people to connect to it but when it's personal when you're vulnerable when it's raw that, that's when the most people can connect to you because you're open there right and they're there to feel those words and to uh to carry that song through so it's uh and that's, what's be- that's what's beautiful about it you know i've been listening to to all these have played and these are all incredible and when you play the stuff that means so much to you it's like if you if someone feels that way or if they can take something from that they're going jesus i'm not alone right. you know yeah i'm not alone there's someone else and there's someone else singing about it so i'm clearly not i'm not mad there's someone else out there that's mad as well <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah right we're all mad together it's all good we're all mad together quote of the day <clears throat> um the next song i'm gonna do is um a song that's really old it's about five six years old now um and i wrote it originally i i was in a writing group when oh, I was you young. said it's very old and it's five or six years old that's quite well, look like in perspective to like me now you know i don't want to be offending anyone in the audience <laughs> Jeff, don't be calling me out. You're embarrassing me now. Okay. <laughs> but this song is very young. It's about five or six years old. And um, <laughs> <clears throat> I wrote it. Uh, I was in a writing group. Um, and at the time, I was kind of writing poetry. And I wanted to be a hip-hop rapper as well. And I was writing all these things. And um, this uh, poet came in. His name's Colm Keegan and uh we done a writing group with him and we started talking basically you know spider diagram stuff and i thought of this idea and i was working with one of the youth workers there, and i thought this idea that what about if we like personify music as like a woman or a man you know it depends how you want to look at it um and i, I went with that and i ended up entering it in the irish youth music awards and that's how i met Sinead and everything um at the i is in crow Pack as no, Aviva. It was Aviva when we did it, I'm pretty sure, yeah. And it got it won the Songwriter Award of that oh, wow. year. Congratulations. And yeah, and it was wacky. It was cool. You know, I got to like play in the Roshi and Dove in Galway and I got to do lots of other stuff um like in front of tons of people and it was mad and wild. And I think that was I would say the song is the start of like my writing like career, I would say. So um my father loves it and he wants me to play it at his funeral um that's what he says uh so um i said considering the fact he's here tonight listen and i said uh i will uh play a farm i'll try i'll pull it back out of the old bag so i do hope you enjoy it's called lady music There's a lady we all know She's not that hard to find She'll break your heart in two Or she'll make you smile She gets inside your mind She comes and goes at any time Sometimes she'll be low Sometimes she'll be high High Loving woman, pretty face You're the smile to my love and tears to my pain Loving woman, pretty face Your music is all I hear All your music is all I In a crowded room or in your bedroom late at night, a tune's playing your ear every melody. Out of time, kisses you to sleep and helps you cheer your day. Kicked you when you're weak, stands by you when you're brave. When you're brave. Loving woman, pretty faith, 
love and tears to my pain. Loving woman, pretty face, your music is all I hear. Loving woman, pretty face, you're the smile of my love and tears to my pain. Loving woman, pretty face, your music is all I hear. You're the smile of my love and tears to my pain. Loving woman, pretty face. Your music is all I hear. Your music is all I hear. Given enough. That was awesome. Thanks so much. Thank you. That was great. Really. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. Really appreciate it. Wow. I can understand why people love it. It's just a wonderful song. And my father likes it. Yeah. It was yeah. one of them songs I put in the bag. I was like, all right, that's there. I played it. Um, you know, I'm sure a lot of musicians were late when you write a song and it, it kind of becomes a staple of like, other songs you write after that for like a year or a couple of months so I, especially uh, before the, the c word i won't say it but when we were doing gigs and stuff it was always i'll do this song at the end you know this is you know and like it was kind of one that i was like remotely known for around like right. the dublin music scene so i was like okay i'll save it to you. I'll, 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 i won't do it and then i'll do it you know and uh and i kind of put it up on the musical shelf but it was nice to play it you know what i mean it was nice to play it again nice to take it off the shelf and play it it's all good it's new for many of us so it's all good so that's, there you uh... go there you go all right so for your final song of the night what are you gonna do <clears throat> final song of this beautiful evening i am going to sing to you a cover um it was originally actually i'm lying to you i don't know if it's originally written by callum scott um, but I know he popularized, I'm not really sure who wrote it, but the song's called Dancing On My Own, and uh, it was on the radio constantly um, over here when it was originally released by Callum, um, and I remember, uh, what's his name, uh, Willie, uh, Willie Watson did a really cool folk version of it, um, and he, just did, he did it on a live stream, and then it blew up and he actually done a studio version of it and put it up on Spotify. Yeah, and Cal I just Callum talked. wrote it. Callum wrote it. Cal Callum Scott wrote it, did he? Yeah, I just Googled it. Yeah. Awesome. <clears throat> awesome. It. I was I was never sure. But he yeah. So it's a beautiful song. And you know, if you if you haven't heard it, it's basically about uh seeing someone that you love and you want you want them to know you love them, but they're off with someone else and then um, Willie Watson did a cover of it and I just thought it was fucking awesome. So I decided to um kind of go off his uh bases on it and um yeah, uh, do my own cover of it. So I do hope you enjoy. Thank you to uh, to Jeff and Lauren and Harry and Ollie is for having me. You know, it's an absolute pleasure. I was here before, I had a great time. I was very ill the last time I was here, um, but I kicked through it um and we had a great time and i'm delighted that i can actually uh i'll be able to walk around after i won't just fall into bed uh like a decrepit old man you know so um it'd be nice i might get a cup of tea i might go crazy you know so yeah. um wow all right <laughs> i do hope you enjoy and i'll see you all soon <laughs> Somebody said you got a new friend
Does he love you better than I can? Big black skies over my town. I know where you are, I bet he's around. Yeah, I know it's stupid, but I gotta see it for myself. I'm in the corner watching you kiss him. I'm right over here, why can't you see me? I'm giving him my all, I'm not the guy you're taking home. I keep dancing on my own. Oh. I just want to dance all night I'm so messed up, I'm so out of line Silhouettes and broken bottles I'm spinning around in circles I'm in the corner watching you kiss him. I'm right over here. Why can't you see me? I'm giving him my all. I'm not the guy you're taking home. I keep dancing on my own. Whoa. So far. We're still so near, the lights come up and the music dies. You don't see me standing here, I just came to say goodbye. I'm in the corner, why didn't you kiss him? I'm right over here, why can't you see me? I'm giving him my all, I'm not the guy you're taking home, I keep dancing on my own, I'm giving him my all, I'm not the guy you're taking home, I keep dancing on my own. Whoa, whoa, Thank you so much, folks. Cheers. Hey, thank you. Give it on up. Don't be shy. Turn on those cameras. Give it applause. <laughs> uh, Keenan, that was great. And uh, what a wonderful, different version of that song. It was nice. It was nice and raw. And uh, you hear it like that, it like takes on a totally different meaning. Uh, 
So thank you so much for being here and I look forward to having you again. And we're going to keep it on that side of the pond and head over to Terrence and say good evening to you, sir. And uh, thank you for joining us. And uh, how are you doing? How, how are things over there in the UK? Yeah, it's pretty good. There, there are going to be announcements soon about uh, maybe easing off. It's, um, yeah, we're not, you know, we're still hiding behind the sofa every time the news comes on. I hear you. Um, but it's, uh, you know, spring's coming. The weather's nicer. The birds are, the birds are at it and um, making their nests and mating. So it's, you know, life goes on. Yes. I hear and it's great to be back in Jeff's place. Um, oh. I'm really pleased to be here and, um, and I've really enjoyed this evening. Thanks so much to the musicians. It's been amazing. Yeah. All of you. Um, so I was going to play four songs and three, three of my own and, and one cover. Okay. Um, and um, it's uh, my songs sort of go all over the place, really. And um, just looking at my little song list, and I thought, this is a mad, it's a mad, it's a mad selection. But the first is a bit like Keenan's, he was written by Lady Music, you were talking about a moment ago. My song is also about, is about music. Um, it goes back, it was, the inspiration was about three years ago, I was in London and I went into one of the last CD stores. I don't know about in America, but here CD stores are pretty much history. Yeah. Everyone's buying online. This is true. And there was a big CD store in Oxford Street. And I was looking around, I was looking for stuff that I like. I couldn't find much really that I liked. And eventually I found right at the back in the basement, beyond the world music, beyond spoken word, was a section called easy listening. And I looked at easy listening. That's not me. That's not that's that's not very rock and roll. But there they were. My guys was Randy Newman and James Taylor, all the people. I, I don't know whether Dylan was there, Van Morrison was there. You know, Randy Newman, easy listening. This is kind of a, a new concept. He's not so and easy I, listening. Randy <laughs> Newman's not easy listening. No, you have to this is a him. man who, who has had several songs banned, but anyway, he is now easy listening. And then I thought, you know, like, uh, I can't remember who it was who said, who you asked what kind of music I, I, I and I, one of the, I think it might have been Aoife, she said she didn't know exactly which genre. I've had that problem. I don't know. I'm, I'm not folk. I don't know what I'm, I thought, this is me. You're it's terrible. easy listening. I'm an easy listening artiste. <laughs> sure. So that's what this song's about. Mm. You might fall asleep in this. It's so smooth, you might just, just nod off. Let's hear it, the easy listening, the soft and the smooth. You'll never know what you've been missing when you're in that mellow groove. Let's hear it for the middle of the road, not to the left or the right. Who needs a musical highway call if you just keep it light? Cause rock and roll's too fast these days and jazz is way too cool. And folks too stuck in its folky ways for an easy listening fool. So let's hear it for swinging along, swaying like a leaf in the breeze. I find a tune from a little song and add some harmonies. Yeah. I want us to solo from Don. fast these days and jazz is way too cool and folks too stuck in its folky ways for an easy listening fool so let's hear it the easy listening the soft and the smooth you'll never know what you've been missing till you're in that mellow Ja, 
la 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 la. Give it enough. Easy listening here live. Easy Jeff listening. Place. I love that. Yay. I like Tom was a bit, Tom was on the bongos there. I just wanted to hear that little little <laughs> South American vibe that you were giving. Yeah. But um, so that was that. Um, well done. Well played. Uh, this is a cover from a long, long time ago, 1930s. I do a, a live stream once every on Monday night, the UK time, about this time, eight o'clock, whatever it is, it's 20 to eight here. And it's on my Facebook page and on YouTube and on Twitter. And, and it has a theme every week. So next week is going to be songs from the cheating side of town. And uh, last Monday was How to Be Popular. And so basically I do a few covers and a few of my own songs, a little readings from books, poems, and we have lots of chat and it's, it's good. So and you've had people from Jeff's Place along, so you'll be very, very welcome. Obviously it's, it's free, you just tune in. Um, but this is a song by Hoagy Carmichael that I did in a show that we did called Horizontal, which is about songs about doing absolutely nothing. Songs about laziness, and there are a lot. Uh, we have one this evening. I think I can't remember who is it. Somebody's saying this is a song about doing nothing, and this is a song which um, I only quite liked when I heard Hokey Carmichael's version. I love Hokey Carmichael, but it wasn't one of my favourite songs. But then I heard an Eric Clapton version of it, and it was a weird thing that it sounds to me. It sounds better on guitar than on the piano, and it's called Rocking Chair. That old rocking chair's got me The king's by my side Fetch me that gin song For I tan your heart Ain't got no cabin Ain't going nowhere Just sitting here grabbing at the flies on my rocking chair. My good old Aunt Harriet, how long in heaven she be? Send down my chariot for the end I see. That old rocking chair's got me Judgment day is almost here And I'm chained to my old rocking chair got no cabin ain't going nowhere just sitting here grabbing at the flies round my rocking chair remember old Aunt Harriet how long in heaven she be send down chariot for the end I see that old rocking chair's got me judgment day is almost here and I'm chained to my old my old rocking chair That was great. Of course, Don has to go into a chair and start rocking, but it's all good. A uh, little bit of little bit of Hoagie Carmichael there. That was wonderful. Wow. So, words. yeah, this next song it's it may not this may seem a little mysterious to Jeff and to Lauren, to Harry, and to everyone 
over there because it's about it's about a team. It's about a soccer team, and I know uh, you know it's a bit, but it's but it's for anybody who follows a team basically. And this was uh, this was inspired. By, I used to go in the eighties to watch a team, a football team, with my son, and with, we just went through highs and lows and. I read about one of the stars that we used to follow who's now just working in a hotel doing a handy, pretty lowly handyman job. And I just want to thank him for all those, the excitement and color he brought to my life. And funnily enough, that this song has, has taken on additional sort of resonance during the lockdown because I don't know about in America, but here sport has just been the, about the only thing that's kept going really. So it's been, I just, this is just, thank you. This is just for anyone who's supported the team through the thick and thin and the agonies and just saying, just thank you for all that. It's a story song. The old boy in the next seat was gonna blow a fuse. He was scarlet, he was shaking, he was scarlet in the face. And the air all around us Turned a deeper shade of blue As he yelled out You're an F in disgrace And my boy was beside me Wide-eyed at all this rage It was his first game in this ground And the away end was going crazy They were like monkeys in a cage They were singing Going down, going down but then way down below us, Macca played a hopeful ball And Budgie's pass brought Bano into play And we were all on our feet again as that stadium rocked Cause happiness is just a goal away So thank you to my team Thank you for the good times, the memories that somehow always pass Though the players and the games are long since gone Cause when you've got a team There'll always be a next time And the future will be brighter than the past And though they may stumble or you fall But the game carries on the years have tumbled by and nothing's quite the same now and then I'll catch him on the screen and my boy and I talk on the phone about the latest game we'll remember the things we've seen there was Trevor's overheader Wiggly's mazy run those days when we were proud to be a fan and Bailey's New Year hat-trick and that crazy Moroccan Who took us all the way to the promised land When he gave, every game was a story, every game was a song Every game was a dream of what might be We knew that on the road to glory something always will go wrong They're out there playing for you and me The boys are all singing It echoes around The world seems so far away From inside this ground They say Bano's now a handyman, Macca's dead and gone, cause reality is a game of flesh and blood. But in a million memories, they'll keep playing on, our heroes of the plastic and the mud. Cause you can change opinions, change your horses in midstream, and you can change your husband or your wife. You can even change your politics, but once you've got a team, 
That's it, they'll be playing for your life. So thank you to my team. Thank you for the good times, the memories that somehow always last. Though the players and the games are long since gone. Cause when you've got a team, there'll always be a next time and the future will be brighter than the past. Though you stumble or you fall, the game carries on. That was great. Wow. Terrence, uh, that tells that, a story. An absolute great story at that. Your lyrics are always fantastic and i love the storytelling wow thanks jeff well it's it's such a pleasure to be here and i i, I mean I, I just wanted to thank you and harry and lauren just for just giving this connection across the world in these lonely times it's been such a beacon and you know it's, and particularly also to the musicians you know i think people have really realized how important music is in our lives and it's sort of kept us all going um, either yeah. playing it or listening to it and just making this communication. So thanks very much to all of you. It's just Jeff's place. It's such a great institution. Yeah, I, I just find it ironic. I'm hosting this out in New York and we had no artists from the U.S. today. We had uh, uh, th three friends from Ireland, uh, a friend in Canada and yourself in the U.K. And uh, it's seamless, yeah. right? The, the technology has evolved to the point where we could actually be here in a global cafe. It's so interesting. Uh, it's just such an interesting thing. I find it, you know, because usually we're just playing to people who in your or in your own country or in, in right, your own yeah. area, just getting this uh, feedback from across from across the world is so interesting. And, and I was looking I and mean, we have there are p literally people from uh, at different points of the night tonight. We had eight different time zones represented and uh, it's just yeah. it's really nice. So it's some people are used to playing local like uh there's an artist that's joining us from toledo ohio and uh he has a wonderful sound system set up and he'll be joining us in a few weeks and oh, great and, the, and and it's like there are wonderful artists in toledo and and like i'm trying to say to them you know we really can't get you any new fans in toledo but we can give you the rest of the world and uh, <laughs> you do do that yeah yeah wow um so um i, I just to go do 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 one more song. This is a song, which um, this is a weird one again. Um, I mean, it's the songwriters who are. I see Emily is there, and one or two other uh, songs songwriters I've, whose work I've enjoyed through Jeff's place. Um, you'll know that basically you're like a magpie. You're just grabbing all sorts of little things from. So it might be football. It might be just a CD store or whatever. And this is. Um, this is a little bit of a psychological truth. I never thought I'd have a song with any kind of psychological truth in it, but this is the only bit of advice I've ever been able to give anybody about getting through anything. I don't in win aces or the roll of the dice. When it comes to rat races, I'm down with the mice. I'm just getting by. A regular guy. If we met on the street, you'd look right through me. From my head to my feet, there's not that much to me. So how do I mate? Make the grain. There's a trick of the train. I fool myself. I'm doing fine. I'm top of the heap. I'm in my prime. And when I walk in the room, I'm so hip and so cool. You won't want to cross me. I'm nobody's fool. I make believe I'm someone else, someone who looks a bit like me. The rope that I walk is on the last thread. The 
rocks are below, so I stare right ahead. Cause if I look down, I know I'll be dead. Just a poor little fool. at a party when she happened to pass I thought she'd ignore me she was out of my class but then she turned to see lucky me I'll never know just what it took and I remember her smile her laugh and her look then we were on our way She's still here today Because I fooled myself I fooled her too She fell for it good It's strange but true And when I look in her eyes I see a superior fella We've been together so long It's too late to tell her Look at me, I'm someone else I'm the guy who got the girl With the rugged good looks of a Hollywood star Me and my babe, we're both going far Cause we're happy to be just who we are That's two little fools Wow, give it up for Terrence. That was beautiful. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very really. much, Jeff. Thank you to everybody. That was great. That was really, really nice. I uh want to thank everyone for being part of the show tonight. Uh, Terrence, thank you for coming in. I'm uh, grateful to have you here and your, and your support and really for all the artists. So I want to give shout outs to my sister, Lauren, and to Harry for co-producing the show and for keeping things running smooth. And to Kelly and to Aoife and to Sinead and to Keenan and to you, Terrence. Thank you for bringing the show home. It was wonderful to have you and uh, really just uh, really a pleasure and an honor to host everyone here. And uh, just grateful for uh, for the opportunity to bring music to the world, if you will. It's uh, we're all from somewhere, and uh, being able to take that songs and share it outside our space is just really nice. And uh, post pandemic, I do hope uh, as people are playing out that people do remember that we're here, so that we we may never ever replace your local pub, but we'd like to be your global local pub, so that when you want to reach out and uh, connect to the rest of the world, we're here too. So uh, thank you all for being part of this and. Um, Really, uh, I'm beyond words at this point, but thank you. It's just been fun. And uh, coming up, I'm not really going to say too much, but uh, in June, we'll have an opportunity to honor uh, the 39th anniversary of uh, The Bluebird uh, with Amy Kurland. Uh, details are still being worked out and drum roll. Uh, in July, it looks like we'll be honoring the 40th anniversary of the passing of Harry Chapin with Jen Chapin, uh, uh, um, Jen Chapin, his daughter, co-hosting a show with me. I haven't, we haven't figured out yet who, which artists are joining us uh, or the logistics yet, but Jen said yes to honoring Harry Chapin's because uh, it'll be 40 years in July since he passed away. So uh, he uh, will be doing a, a Harry Chapin tribute show uh, sometime in July. So those are things that are coming up. Uh, and after hearing so many so many artists play music that I love, you know, I'm, I'm thinking of taking a week a, a week and making a music of the '60s and putting it out to the artists that have been here to see who wants to come and pick a song and play it. Just because it's uh, because it, it's it's they're, not that they're covers. It's just I really like the way that the artists here take the songs and make it their own. Right? They they bring it into their own, and it's just beautiful. So uh, working on that. I uh, this is not a reality show. We're not doing this to win any awards. This is just for the fun and for the opportunity to raise the energy for everyone around us so uh, anyway thank you all for being here uh we'll be back next week 
And uh, thanks for being part of Jeff's Place today. Love to all of you. And really, uh, thank you. And much love to all the artists and to everyone who supports them. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Lauren, end of show.